Are there plans for you to relocate your children, your daughter and wife to be with you in UK? Um, that is something that we have been talking about. Uh, previously, uh, I was not agreeable to the idea. It, was, it never crossed my mind at all, especially with the fact that the five were detained. Now that the five have been reunited with their family, I think it is only fair that my wife and kid uh, now joins me in England. Uh, but I'm still hopeful, uh, you know, that uh, um, the Malaysian government would change their mind and uh, return my passport okay. and, and allow me back. So in the worst case scenario, we are looking at you taking your family to be with you, rather than you coming back to Malaysia. Yeah, that, that's the worst case scenario. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if that happens, um, what's going to happen to Hindra then? Uh, how is it going to move forward? Uh, are you still going to control it from wherever you are? Or do you have new set of leaders who can actually carry on the work in uh, Malaysia? I, I would prefer that somebody in Malaysia take over. Uh, I've been talking to a few, uh, a number of them. <clears throat> and and uh, and uh, I've been suggesting that they take over, but I will still continue uh, doing the work. I would rather somebody take over the Hindra work for me, and I would rather concentrate uh, to do the international lobby. Um, especially, I've not covered European Parliament yet, uh, and also the United States um, and Australia. Um, I would prefer to continue with those work, and I would also prefer to continue with my civil suit. Okay. Well, talking about the civil suit, uh, before going to the civil suit, when you talk about Hindra, what do you mean by Hindra? What is it that Hindra actually wants to do? What is it that Hindra wants to achieve in Malaysia? In Malaysia. In Malaysia. In Malaysia, we we uh, uh, are working to create awareness uh, among the people on the true plight of the Malaysian Indians. You know, everybody, uh, initially it was difficult for Malaysians to accept the fact that Indians were marginalized. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you know, it was accepted. After November 25th, uh, I think everybody accepted the fact. Everybody agreed that, yes, um, the Indians in Malaysia are marginalized. But to what extent, people do not know. They can't imagine, especially people belonging to the uh, Chinese and uh, Malay community, can't imagine to what extent is the marginalization. So we are going out explaining to people uh, or rather taking up issues affecting the Indians um, and also uh, um, putting it in the right perspective uh, with regards to violations of human rights and you know, so forth. Do you see any changes in that uh, since uh, maybe 2007, November 2007, March 2008 and then now here we are September 2009, has there been a progressive change in the um, mindset of people in recognizing the fact that Indians are marginalized and for the marginalized community has there been uh, uh, different in their marginalization are they being uh, are more things being done to help them um, I think there's nothing much uh, not much improvements um, from the Barisa nationalist government you know on their side they are still interested in, in giving piecemeal deals to the in Indians. We do not believe in piecemeal deals. Uh, we believe in a permanent solution to the whole problem. And likewise, um, the five Pakatan, now four states, have not uh, really addressed the issues. You know, We know they have not taken over the federal government. Uh, we are aware of the fact. Um, but uh, you know, matters that can be resolved within the state matters that are within the powers of the chief ministers and mantri uh, you know, are, are, are not attended to. Uh, when it comes to Indian issues, you know, we are sidelined by even these states. Another person we would like to talk about now, Tanendra, who used to be a chief coordinator for Indra from Malaysia. Uh, but then there seemed to be a follow-up with Tanendra, uh, maybe middle of this year. And then he has gone on to form his own political party, Matil Sakti Party. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us what actually happened in Tanendra? Is it still part of Hindra? Or if Matil Sakti Party is still part of Hindra or it's totally an independent party, is there a link between you two? No, um, Tanendra is no longer with Hindra and his Matil Sakti Party is not part of Hindra. Um, Yes, he, 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 he was a great asset to us, um, he helped us, he was uh, 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 sort of uh, my main man on the ground during uh, post-December 13th, um, but eventually um, he had um, um, 
intentions of uh, forming a political party. He did speak to me about it. He did. Speak he, to he, he 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 suggested right. that uh, um, I should form a political party, um, but I was not keen. I said no, I'm not keen. But uh, you know, uh, I will not get involved in it. And um, I suppose uh, during that uh, period. Uh, he had his own people with him, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, he was convinced on, on the need of a political party, so he formed a political party. So when he formed, uh, yes, uh, he did speak to me about it prior to that. So when he formed the political party, I, has, I have no choice but to let him go. So he's on his own. Uh, so it will Hindra work with Makkal Sakti Party? Or? Um, I think uh, he is uh, aligned to the Barisan National uh, Parties. Uh, um, that's what I was told. He, he has not openly said, mm -hmm. but it looks like he's aligned to the Barisan National Parties. If that's the case, uh, we will not work with him. There's this accusation that Hindra is only concentrating on Indians and Hindu rights. Um, there are also questions that why can't you help the other marginalized part of society in Malaysia? Would you like to comment on that? Um, Hindra was born because of the M. Murthy case. I think many people know about that. You know, at that point of time, we couldn't get uh, the other um, um, religious bodies from other faiths to join us. So we went ahead, and we ended up. You know, we started from M. Murthy. You know, it was an accident. Hindra, uh, Hindra struggle. I think was an accident. Uh, we, uh, you know, we we meant to do something else. And at the end of the day, we ended up doing something else. And uh, today, uh, we have more or less we have taken up all human rights issues affecting the Malaysian Indians, uh, and uh, um, uh, I don't regret that, you know. And uh, uh, now uh, there is an urge uh, by certain quarters that we should take up uh, matters affecting all races. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we are keen, but we don't have the capacity. We are very limited. We are not even uh, a registered organisation. Uh, we are banned by the Malaysian government, and uh, we need the support from. Uh, when it comes to the Indian issues, I can, I know I know the issues. Um, I'm I'm familiar with the issues. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done a lot of research. Um, um, but if other communities are marginalised, and then I think other communities have to come in, or somebody else have to take the lead, and we will join them. What do you think will Hindra's role be hmm? for the next general election? What sort of role do you anticipate Indra to play? Well, I've said uh, we will remain a political. I, I do not wish to, you know, um, uh, get Indra involved in uh, in any political roles. You know, in the last general elections, I had personally uh, asked the Indian voters to vote for the opposition en bloc, including Pahas, Kadilan. It doesn't matter who stands. All right. Now I'm being faced with the questions by the people. And uh, it looks, uh, they, they are asking me that, you know, that uh, they are questioning me now that um, what has the Pakatan done? I, I, I don't have answers for them. So I, I don't think I will mobilize thousands of the Indra supporters to go on the ground in the next elections unless and until the Pakatan government, um, you know, comes up uh, with a plan or calls us, uh, or they, they, uh, unless they, they call us for a dialogue. And, and, and require our assistance, we will not go out of our way to assist them in the next general elections. Do you see um, Hindra organizing another mammoth rally like what happened in November 2007 to fight for its cause? Um, no, I, I don't see in the near future. Uh, in fact, the November 35th rally was, uh, as I said, by, by accident, you know, um, it, it was never intended that way. I, I didn't know that many people were going to come, you know. It was the people's spontaneous reaction. That's why we call it Mankal Sakti, yeah. you know, people's power. And uh, I think the time will come for the people to rise again. Uh, when it will happen, I do not know. But they will come again. If this government or the alternative government, if they take over the country, do not do the necessary changes, and then if the, there is uprising of the people, we can't stop that.